child's developmental journey. Let's begin latency, preschool years, ages three to five. Children at this age are concrete. They learn through play. They're magical, symbolic, and egocentric thinkers, not logical. <laughs> they believe the world revolves around them. They cannot differentiate between being adopted and being born into a family. Don't understand that concept yet. This time is about laying the foundation of comfortability, talking about adoption for everyone. So tips, be concrete and simple. Use props such as dolls, simple drawings, plenty of books, stay relaxed and factual. Begin talking about adoption right away. Keep in mind that children usually feel good about being adopted. Still have confusion and questions. So keep it short and sweet. Common questions. Why was I adopted? Was I born in your tummy? Why wasn't I born in your tummy? Why didn't my first mother keep me? What does my first mother look like? Where are they? The who, what, where? So positive adoption language. In adoption, we're still trying to figure out what's the politically correct term for birth mother. Biological mother has been the medical term. Some mothers don't like that. They're a medical object to the child. Then there are those who don't like birth mother because that implies she's a breeder. I mean, there's just so many politics. You may be hearing this for the first time, but there is. So then mothers want to be called first mothers, but then adoptive or foster parents feel negated. What do I, am the second mother? Then there's the natural mother. And then what does the foster adoptive parent go? Well, what am I, the unnatural mother? So it becomes this back and forth. I like to ask kids, what would you like to call your birth mother? birth mother, first mother, and there is concern about using tummy mommy. I've had birth mothers say it hurts, that I'm talked as, that I'm the tummy mommy. For adoptive and foster and kindred families, the real parent, who's the real parent? You're the real parent. You're parenting. We're all real people. Let's just be respectful of each person in what's called now the constellation and adoption. All those members in an adoption or foster placement. So use first birth or biological mother to explain and then ask the child what they would like to call their birth family. You're all parents rather than labeling foster or adoptive parent. You are a parent first. International or inter-county adoption rather than foreign adoption, people use this language, was adopted rather than is adopted. Adoption is an event, not a condition. Not like I have, I'm, di I'm diabetic. It's you have diabetes. You're a person first experiencing diabetes. Now for kids, sometimes kids do identify with being adopted. We don't want to negate that for them. But that's not who you are. That's a part of your experience. Yeah, you can identify with being adopted. Some kids, it feels shameful to identify with being adopted. You were adopted. You're not adopted right now. That is an event. You are connected by adoption in your family. So just helping them piece out these pieces for themselves is important. Explaining birth and adoption. Every baby is born to a man and a woman. Families form in many ways. Babies can live with a family they were born in, or babies can live with a family that adopts them or fosters them. Sometimes a woman can't grow a baby in her tummy, so she adopts a baby. Very simple sentences for this age group. Sometimes a mom and dad can take care of a baby who was born to them, so they find another family to raise their child. Why did you adopt me? We wanted a child to love and care for. If you listen to the question, only answer the question. Why did you adopt me? Not, we wanted a child to love and take care of you and your mother could not take care of you. They didn't ask that. Why did you adopt me? We tend to give more information because if we bring in the birth mom at this point and they're not ready, they're gonna get confused. So just answer 
what's asked at this age. I'm very strict about this because we wanna follow their lead and we wanna just provide the information. Children can only handle a dose at a time. And remember, they're recycling information. Interestingly enough, I did the question box with, uh, he was about six. When we did all the questions, I said, oh, are you ready to tell us if there's one or two questions you would like an answer to? And he started running around the room and he said, no, I don't want any answers. <laughs> We're like, wow. Like he had been holding on to all of these questions. He wasn't ready. So just because a child asks, you're not going to answer it right then. You're going to go, oh, this is a good question for your question, but I'm going to write that down for you. Was I born in your tummy? Your dad and mom and I couldn't make a baby. And we wanted a baby to love and take care of very much. You grew inside your birth mommy's tummy, just like all babies do. And when it was time for you to be born, you came out of your birth mommy's tummy, just like all babies do. And then we adopted you. One of my favorite books is My Belly Button that I read with kids this age. So they see how babies are born. Why didn't my first mother keep me? Sometimes a man and a woman give birth to a child. There are grown up problems that keep them from being able to take care of any baby born on your birthday at that time. And they make a plan for adoption. There's certain phrases at that time. They couldn't take care of any baby. All babies are born the same way. So it doesn't isolate them. They don't internalize that this is only about them and explains how many different families are formed. What does my first mother look like? If you know what she looks like, you can describe her. If not, question for the question box. Books to read for three to five. Contemplating your belly button. I don't have your eyes. A mother for Choco. All babies need mommies to take care of them. Tell me again about the night I was born. That's more about international adoption. How was I adopted? We're different. We're the same. It's okay to be different. Love you forever. I didn't put Todd Parr's other book, We Belong Together. Through the moon and stars and night skies, the day we met you over the moon. And these are just an assortment. 